Hey guys, I'm here with Snuggles today and um, I just want to show you guys that positive reinforcement is a really, really um, strong um, tool in training any kind of animal. And I know that a lot of you guys are um, used to seeing me train Smokey and you can see some impressive behaviors that we can use positive reinforcement to kind of train our birds to do. But on the same principles apply to dogs. And um, a lot of people um, that are critics of positive reinforcement often claim that um, it doesn't really work with dogs. Um, so I want to show you guys that that's not always the case. And the biggest, I guess, downside that people claim is that positive reinforcement only works when you, when you have treats. And I want to show you right now that Snuggles sees that I have no treats in my hand. It's a real-time training scenario. We're outside, there are distractions around. And um, I want to show you guys that all of the behaviors that we train our animals are still very reliable using positive reinforcement. We don't always need treats, and they work in any kind of environment. And um, the treats are only used at the very beginning stages, but once um, our animals develop these behaviors, you can eventually just fade out all the um, treats. So I'm going to show you guys uh, some examples. Snuggles, ready to begin? All right. Come on, Snuggs. Sit. Good. Back up. Back up. Good. Snuggles, down. Good. Snuggles, bang. Good. Good. Snuggles, sit. Turn around. Good. All right, let's go this way. Bag. Sit. Bag. Good. Down. Down. Stay. Stay. All right, guys. So um, I have her on a down stay right now, and even though we're outside, I have no treats. She knows I have no treats. And as you can see, throughout this whole process, I haven't rewarded her with any treats yet. And that's the key thing. At the very beginning stages of training, it's not going to stay. At the very beginning stages of training, um, treats are used to communicate with their animals what we want them to do. But um, after our animals learn um, what they're expected to be able to do, we can slowly and eventually fade out the uh, treats re treat reward. But instead, the reward at this time becomes something um, that could be more reinforcing than treats. And I'll show you guys what I mean. Right now, I'm predicting her behavior. Snuggles, stay. Stay, Snuggles. Good. And um, a lot of you might be asking, well, if I don't reward with treats, then what could act as a reward? Well, if you can imagine, in this kind of environment right now, treats aren't going to be very rewarding for the dog. Instead, sniffing around the bushes, sniffing around the grass area, that's way more reinforcing. So Snuggles, stay. Um, she knows that if she follows what I am asking her to do, eventually I can lead her to really um, incredible places around the whole environment, places where there are really, really um, cool scents around. Um, I can even, if I see a bird, I can even lead her to a bird. And all of these things are really, really reinforcing for her. So I want to show you guys how reliable these behaviors are, even when we don't have treats. Stay, Snuggles. Snuggles, look good. Stay. And again, that look is kind of like my invisible leash. Stay snuggles. Hey! So even if somebody comes up and pets her, stay snuggles. Hey! Hey snuggles! Even though there are a lot of distractions around um, the environment, the animal should still be able to do all of these um, behaviors, knowing that I have no treats. Good snuggles, stay. What a good dog. Good dog, snuggles. Good. And I'm going to show you guys right now, when I release her, um, the reward isn't going to be treats, but rather it's the attention that she gets from me, but also the opportunity to kind of go around and sniff around the yard. And um, when training an animal, this is, this is really important. We always got to predict um, what in the environment can be reinforcing for the dog. So if you're not using treats, um, there are so many things that you can use instead of treats. For example, inside the house, snuggle, stay. Um, inside the house, when I ask her to sit, when I ask her to lie down, instead of using treats, I can say good and then jump on the sofa. Thus, getting on the sofa becomes the reward for training. And um, all of those become much more reinforcing than um, just treats that we use at the very beginning. Stay snugs. Okay, Dina, she's gonna jump on me in a bit. Make sure you get it. Good girl, up. Good girl, Snugs. Good girl. Are you ready to go? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Go play. All 
All right, guys. So even though Snuggles is really far over there, I'm gonna show you guys just how um, reliable these behaviors could be, even without treats. So in a second, even though she's sniffing around the grass, I'm gonna ask her to lie down, really, really, even though she's really far away, and um, you'll just get an idea of how um, how powerful reinforcement really is in these kind of scenarios. Snuggles down. Snugs, down. Good. Good snuggles. Snuggles, look. Good. Ready? Good girl. Up. Good girl. Good girl, Snuggs. All right, huh? Come. Sit. Good. High five. Good. Other paw. Good. Both paws. Good. Down. Good. 